All right, I'm going to show you how to texture an object in Blender. I'm using version 2.69. So this is what we're going to do. First, we're going to get an image to texture with. Then we're going to create a displacement and color map. Then we'll create a basic object and texture it and then render it. So let's get started. So to make this interesting, we'll create an asteroid in space because there's nothing more interesting than floating rocks. So this is the image I have. You can go to Google and just look for a rock texture, or I picked this one up at cgtextures.com. I'll leave a link in the description for you. You're also going to need another program called Crazy Bump. You can look that up on Google as well. This is so we can create our um, displacement and color map. So first thing we'll do is we'll open up our file that you've downloaded. You get an option between these two. This one looks like it's kind of too smooth and, and uh, concave. So we're going to pick this one. I mean, basically, whatever one looks better to you. The actual Im image itself is our color map for the most part, but uh, this is the diffuse map that we're going to take. This one looks fine. We're just going to save this out. Save, diffuse to file. And the suffix on the end of this file here it says color so that we know that's our color map go to the displacement and uh, you can play with these if you're if at the end it doesn't look so great just we'll take the defaults for now if it doesn't look so great you can come back in here and you can uh, improve the quality of the image uh, by messing with these little details here anyway I'm just going to save that displacement map out And we'll close that. And we'll go into Blender. And you'll only be able to follow along with this tutorial if you're in the right render engine. I'm using Cycles Render. Let's delete this cube by right-clicking on that. X on the keyboard. Hit Enter. We'll add a sphere. Shift A. Mesh. UV sphere. Resize my window there. I'm just going to deform this a little bit. So I'm just going to go into edit mode here for a second and I'm going to deform this a little bit and make it look more like a rock. So I just press A to deselect everything. Um, press B on the keyboard so you can get a draw a box around a couple of these uh, vertices. I'll just pull this stuff out a little bit. It's not necessarily the best way. A again to deselect. Uh, B, and then draw the line. Okay, I'll leave it at that. Now let's change our viewport layout from default to compositing. Again, make sure you're uh, in Cycles Render. In the 3D viewport down here, let's just put that back to object mode. And let's go into material. And we'll select new material. And under the diffuse uh, where it says color, there's a little drop down on this little dot here and we want image texture. And then we'll click open and we'll find the um, color map that we had created in the first step. Open image. And next we'll define how the image will be mapped onto this object. Let's go down here and select the image. Zoom that out. Scrolling my wheel back. In the 3D viewport, we'll change the shading type to textured and go into edit mode. I can press the A key to select all and we have to UV unwrap this object. So we do that by clicking on mesh, UV unwrap, and there's a lot of different options on how you could unwrap. Uh, depending on the object, you would use different ones of these. For now, we're going to use smart UV project. And click 
cool. I'll take the defaults there. You can see what it's doing over here in the left. And we can resize that. Uh, we can select all by pressing A on the keyboard. And I can resize it by hitting S for scale if I want. And you can see on the right hand side uh, that it's manipulating the image, that textured image in real time. Um, We'll make it as big as we can anyway. Uh, I also want to probably move it up, so I'll just press G on the keyboard so I can slide it up, get some of that dark stuff up in there. Probably going to show up on the back side of it, but that's fine. Uh, and I'll scale it down a little bit, make sure I'm not cutting off any edges. So here it's very important that you do all of your um, object manipulation and molding before you UV unwrap it because as you can see each one of these uh, little squares or faces is going to grab a piece of the image so if you had done the UV unwrapping on one shape and then bent the shape you'd actually be stretching and pulling the image and it would blur and it wouldn't look correct so that's why you do it this way so we'll bring this back in object mode and we just had our uh, default light source here so I'm actually going to bring that a little bit closer to the object so we can do a quick little render here and see what we're looking at. But I want to make sure I have enough light. I'll increase this lamp here to, let's just say one. Might be too bright, but let's have a look. Render. Okay, so we'll notice it's a little flat. Uh, we have our little uh, indents and bumps that we had created in the actual model itself but we actually don't have any depth to the texture we just have obviously the color because we've only applied the color map so let's fix that um, i'll click on that and hit escape to get out of the render preview and this window up here is our node editor but we don't see anything um, i make sure that we're we are in object mode i will select the object and say use nodes, click on object shader and the object there. We'll have a look here at what's happening. Let's look at the rendered view of this. So if I take from the color output of the texture and I dump that into displacement, I immediately start to get a little more depth so you can see this is going to work as uh, for this particular texture, it'd probably be okay, but we're not going to do that that way because it doesn't work for too many textures that way. Instead, we will add another texture, texture image, and this is our displacement image, black and white image that will allow us to show depth. And we'll add another node, Shift A again, and vector this time, and bump. This will allow us to have some, use it as a bump map. And we'll connect the color to normal, and normal to displacement. Now on this, you don't really see a lot of detail, but um, on other type objects, you will. <laughs> it's actually not very good, but the idea here is just to demonstrate how you would add a texture and a color map and displacement map. Remember to save your work. File save as. And we'll render out a little better quality version of this. So in resolution under render, resolution will crank that right up. And under sampling, we will switch this to say 1000. And let me just fix a light source on this one. Add another light source, shift A, lamp, spot. Let's go to camera view, press zero on our numpad. And oh, uh, the 
let's change the world settings. It's a background to black. And that should be good. Let's go back to render settings and render. And there it is. I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe and leave a comment below if there's any specific tutorials you'd like to see and I'll do my best to get them out. Thanks for watching.